In this video, we will solve problem 4.6 of the textbook Mechanica Vibration 6 editions from Rao. My name is Carmen Miller Carker. The torsional vibration of a driven gear mounted on a shaft, which is this gear and this shaft, under steady state condition is governed by the equation J sub zero, which is the mass moment of inertia, the angular acceleration plus K torsional, which is equivalent torsional constant for that shaft, and theta is the angular deflection of the driven shaft. And that's equal to MT is the torsional trans tor transmitted to the shaft. From the equivalent mass spring damper table, we can go and look for the torsional shaft, and we get this is the formula for the equivalent constant of the shaft. Therefore, I will write here the constant of the spring is J I will write here this is pi J 32L times D to the fourth. And the operating frequency is omega which is equals to 1000, 2 pi over 60, which is 104.72 radians over sec. The period of oscillation is 2 pi over omega, which is 2 pi over 1000, 2 pi over 60. Therefore, the period is 0 0.06 seconds. Let's analyze our force that is producing the vibration. They say that we have 16 teeth and one of them is broken. Therefore, every cycle we will have a jump, so to say. So my force that is being applied is a constant torque and I have a jump at the 15 over 16th of the period. And then at the period, I start over with a step and again, and that's produced by the broken teeth. This is the torque that I'm applying to the system. And the torque is given, which is this value of 1000 newtons per meter. In order to find the response of this system, the first thing that we have to do is write this expression, which is a piecewise function, in terms of Fourier series. Our function is a constant moment from t greater than zero and less than 15 over 16 tau, which tau is the period, and there is zero for the rest of the time for that period. Since this is a periodic function, but not harmonic, I will apply the Fourier series to convert it into a periodic function with harmonic functions. So I will find the Fourier series. And for that, I have to find all the coefficients. I will start with an independent coefficient. By the definition is two over tau, the integral from zero to tau of the function it is tau. Therefore, I have from zero to 15 over 16 tau, and this is a constant, dt. And of course, I could have, I could write this other expression, but this is zero. Therefore, this part, it will be zero. And this is just the integral of a constant, and I evaluate in the limits of integration. And then I have two over tau, the moment uh, m sub t, and this is 15 over 16 tau. Tau goes with tau, and two, I end up with 16. Therefore, my first coefficient is just mt 15 over 18. 
Now I have to find the coefficients a sub n, 2 over tau, the integer from 0 to tau, and I have m sub, c sub 0, and now it's cosine of j omega t d d t. Since this is a constant, I can take it out of the integral, and then I just have the integral of cosine. The integral of cosine is sine of g omega t over j omega. And I have to evaluate that in 0 and 15 over 16 tau. Remember that again, I divided the integral in two parts, but the first part is 2, 15 over 16, and the second part is 0. So I will have here 2 over tau m sub zero and this is sine let me write here j omega sine of j omega 15 over 16 and that's the value for my coefficient this equals to 2 over tau j omega m sub t sub zero sine of j omega 15 over 16 tau. And finally, remember that tau, we have the value which is 0 0.06 seconds. Finally, v sub n is 2 over tau, the integral from 0 to tau, the moment sine of j omega t dt. That will be 2 over tau m sub 0, the integral of sine is negative cosine, j omega t divided by j omega between 15 and 16 tau. Then I have to evaluate that will be 2 over tau m sub t sub 0 and then I have to evaluate cosine of this term will give me a cosine of omega 15 over 16 tau but I have to also evaluate cosine of 0 so that will give me 1 minus cosine of j omega 15 over 16 tau and all that divided by j omega. So I can write here that b sub n will be equals to 2 tau j omega m sub t sub 0 1 minus cosine of j omega 15 over 16 tau. The Fourier series will look something like that. A sub zero half plus the summation of j equals one to infinity of A sub n times cosine of j omega t plus B n sine of j omega t. And if we include the values for our coefficients that we found, we get that this is m sub 0, 15 over 16 plus. To just to simplify, remember that tau times omega is tau 2 pi over tau. Therefore, if this cancel out, I will write tau times omega as 2 pi. Therefore, this here converts to pi, just pi. So when I write my equations over here, I will get to take everything out that is a constant. Therefore, I have over pi. And the summation from j equals 1 to infinity. And this will be equals to 1 over j sine of j omega 15 over 8. Again, omega times tau converted into pi. So this is pi cosine of j omega t plus 1 minus cosine of 15 over 8 pi. All that that multiplies sine of j omega t. In order to see if my approximation really works, I'm going to graph this e using GeoGebra. Here you see the more 
the value for n changes here in the my summation and I increase the number of terms for my approximation, my approximation to my step function enhances. However, I do always carry a little bit of error right at the discontinuity. And that error is very difficult to get rid of. So, but the main step is actually very good approximated. We go back to our problem, the equation of motion that governs the system is j sub zero theta two dots plus k torsional theta equals that moment that we have applied. In the torque that is applied, we have a term that is constant, and then we have all terms that are harmonic. Therefore, we can find the response of a constant torque and the response of a harmonic function. Therefore, the response using the superposition method and the superposition method is only valid when the system is linear and I will be able to find the response of each of the terms and the response of the total system will be the summation of all those responses. I want just to go back to the formula sheet to recall what is the response for a harmonic function. This is the formula sheet for harmonic excited damped system for steady state response. In our case, we have a constant force and then we have also a force that has a constant magnitude. Therefore, this is our response. It will be the same magnitude divided by the constant of the spring times the magnification factor. And this is the magnification factor. Since we do not have damping, we will only have the first term. This is the graph for the magnification factor and we will have that our system behave for this curve because we have no damping. The solution will be then the response to a constant force which is the same magnitude divided by the constant of the spring plus the same magnitude here again divided by the constant of the spring times the summation from j to 1 to infinity, 1 over j, the magnification factor. The magnification factor is 1 over 1 minus rj squared. And remember that rj will be equal to j omega divided by omega n. Omega is the operating frequency, which was 1000 rpm, and omega n is equal to the square root of k, equivalent divided by j sub zero. So that will be one over one minus r j squared, the absolute value, times, and I have to repeat all that, j 15 over eight pi, cosine of j omega t, plus one minus cosine of 15 pi over eight, sine of j omega t, all that, where the variables equivalent are omega, omega n, and the magnitude of that moment are no. I also graph the response here in green, and this is the uh, equation for the response right here. And it's very similar to the inputs, right? We have a, just a different value for the constant term and the value for the equivalent constant of the spring. We have to divide that and the magnification factor as well. So that's how uh, the response looks like. Finally, I show you the whole solution of the problem. The first thing was to set up this periodic function in terms of a Fourier series, finding the coefficient, and when we have that Fourier series, is very straightforward to find the response of the system. Please calculate all these values for which data is given, and you can also graph this function as I did.